It was a beautiful day. We came to church to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. People started coming as early as 6 in the morning. It was going to be a joyous occasion. But it never turned out that way. A suicide bomber in a vehicle packed with explosives drove up this busy street and stopped in front of the church. Uche Bonaventure and his 17-month-old son had just walked out the church front doors when the bomb exploded. The explosion threw me back and my son was hurled across the other side. Around me I could see bodies on fire. Within minutes, husbands became widowers, wives became widows, children became orphans and parents were childless. The suicide bomber knew precisely when to strike. It was shortly after 8 o'clock that Christmas morning as one service was just concluding and the next one was about to begin. 26 of the 44 people who died that day attended St. Teresa's church. The people who carried out this attack are under the influence of the devil. They have only evil in their heart and they want to divide us. The radical Muslim group Boko Haram claimed responsibility for this and several more attacks in other parts of Nigeria that Christmas day. Boko Haram's goal is to turn Africa's most populous nation into an Islamic country. I am very angry at them. We didn't do anything to deserve this, but if they are trying to get me to respond out of anger, I will not. He and his son spent several weeks in the hospital recovering from third degree burns. Today, you'll find him and his family praying for their attackers. I want God to touch their hearts so that they will know that what they are doing is not good. A sentiment echoed in Father Achi's sermons about the importance of forgiveness. I have personally forgiven them, but what I need from Boko Haram is that they should repent and stop doing this evil work and confess. That, however, isn't likely to happen anytime soon. In January alone, Boko Haram struck 21 times, killing more than 250 people. 900 plus have died in recent months in multiple attacks around the country. 200 miles north of St. Teresa's Church, Esther Garba. So many people love my husband. He loved to share the gospel with others. Isaac Kuri. They would not let me see my father's body. He was beyond recognition. Margaret Frames. He was shot in the mouth in the elbow and in the back. And Salama to Joshua. I am asking God to bring peace to our city. A blanketing northern Nigeria's most important city of Kano with prayer. On January 20th, 26 days after the Christmas Day massacre, Boko Haram killed 185 people in a string of coordinated attacks in Kano. It was the group's deadliest strike to date among the dead were the loved ones of these Christian families. I can't do anything to bring my husband back. All I can do is trust in God. The Bible says we should love our enemies and pray for them. A Boko Haram spokesman has declared war on Nigeria's government, the security services and the country's Christians. In a video released online he says, I enjoy killing anyone that God commands me to kill the way I enjoy killing chickens and rams. In January, the group gave Christians three days to leave the north or be attacked. And the Christians in the state of Kano are very, very much on edge. So many of them are beginning to consider the idea of leaving the state and moving south. We spoke to some of them who are very fearful and concerned that the security apparatus is not in a position to protect them. Nigeria is evenly split between Christians in the south and Muslims in the north. Kano is overwhelmingly Muslim. Extremist groups routinely use this city and the surrounding areas as a base of operation. It is very difficult to share the gospel here in the extreme northern parts of Nigeria. Joshua works quietly as an evangelist in northern Nigeria. CBN News agreed to conceal his identity to protect him. He says the indigenous people consider Christians here as invaders and members of a western religion. I was born and raised here. I'm part of the North, yet because I'm a Christian, I am viewed and treated as a second, third or fourth class citizen. And now he fears Boko Haram is trying to spark a religious war by provoking Christians into attacking Muslims. Some Christian neighborhoods are taking measures to defend themselves. Others rely on God for protection and take comfort in his word.
Even when I walk through the dark valley of death, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. George Thomas, CBN News, Kano, Nigeria.